In this video, we'll explore Razer's two filters. Razer's filters don't actually filter the output from the oscillators in the conventional subtractive synthesis sense. Instead, they shift the amplitudes of the partials to emulate and expand on the same process. Unlike the oscillators, Razer's two filter sections are very different to each other. Filter 1 always comes first, offering five low-pass variations, one band pass, and five more creative options, while Filter 2 features eight overt effects filters among its 12 types. Filter 1's quintet of low-pass types go way beyond their conventional analog equivalent, with boost and width dials, or stretch in the case of low-pass dirty, improving on the usual resonance control by applying a resonant boost or cut of separately adjustable gain and bandwidth at the cutoff frequency. All but low-pass dirty also allow tilting of the filter slope, and low-pass phaser adds in phasing resonance complete with endless barber pole mode. The bandpass filter type features independent bandwidth controls for the filter itself and the resonant boost. EQ decay and formant decay are a five band graphic EQ and formant filter respectively, with the decay dials and other controls working together to create evolving frequency tail offs and plucked sounds. Filter 1's vowel and formant types deliver an array of vocal style noises Vocoder is a stunning 34-band vocoder that uses an external audio signal as its modulator. Filter 2's types start with low pass, high pass, band pass, and band reject, all of which work as already described. Multimode Dirty morphs smoothly from low pass through band pass to high pass, again with variable resonant bandwidth.
comb peak and comb notch emulate comb filters, one boosting certain frequencies, the other attenuating them for edgy phaser, chorus and flanger effects. and further phasing effects can be had with the phaser type. Waterbed employs a simulated model of waves in water as a filter curve shape for yet more phasing, this time of the undulating kind. Finally, Pseudo Pitch Bend combines high pass and comb filtering to simulate pitch shifting. Gaps is an invertible hard edged comb filter. and unisono noise rapidly modulates the amplitudes of partials to give the impression of multiple signals, from almost conventional unison to a messed up exaggeration thereof. The three dials at the left hand end of each filter control the smoothing of the partial amplitudes with fast filter movement. Attack sets the speed with which the filter smoother kicks in when partial amplitudes rise, for example raising the frequency of a low pass filter. Decay does the same but for drops in amplitude. And damp reduces the decay time for higher frequency partials. over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.